Beer Farm is Arizona's largest haunted attraction with 26 acres, a corn maze, and five haunted houses. And as you can see, thousands show up every Halloween to get the ultimate scare, but some say the fear at the Fear Farm isn't all staged. ABC 15 Stephanie Hockridge went ghost hunting with paranormal investigators in the valley, and what they captured might make you think twice about what's really haunting this haunted house. Ever had the feeling you're not alone? Unexplainable sounds and unsettling feelings. I don't know what the hell that is. Was it something you just imagined or something more? I don't know how to really explain something like that. But I can tell you this, that it did happen. There's a reason Jay Yates believes it's possible to be haunted by the other side. <laughs> Last time when we were here, we kept seeing shadows passing back and forth. It's called Fear Farm for a reason. It's pretty creepy. It's really creepy. And Chris Sanders, who lives here year-round, says the difference with this Phoenix haunted attraction is that it's really haunted. I don't believe it is. I know it is. <laughs> Cameras are good. Armed with pretty much every gadget, gizmo. It's in the connect for Xbox 360. And gimmick. Rumored to con uh, capture spirits. It's called uh, the Devil's Toy Box. The Crossing Over Paranormal Society is on a mission to find the cause of the fear at the farm. We have DVR units set up in here. Husband and wife professional uh, ghost infrared, hunters Jay and Marie up, Yates head up a crew of 10 investigators. We have skeptics. We have believers. And they don't take any chances. Everyone is, is tagged and we're always doing a buddy system. After hours of setup, you guys want to go lights up? It's time to start. Well, you're going to be in for one hell of a night. Is there anybody in here with us? I just saw something moving. Like, uh, Jay? No, I don't have a bug on me. It's not work. Doesn't make any sense. For six hours, the team braves the eerie elements. What was that? That's why I just said, what was that? Working through the night in pitch black. Can someone tell me what the hell that was over there? In hopes of capturing even the slightest proof the paranormal exists. It is a lot of effort and often with very little reward. Why is our cameras off? But for Jay and Marie, every second of what they capture is a chance to better understand what they desperately want to learn. I have an autistic child um, and he has gone through a lot of tortured nights um, with things being moved in his room, voices. Almost like they're a beacon or a vortex to this type of energy. It's the reason their crew investigates all over Arizona for free. We wanted to help out other families that were struggling with the paranormal, especially children. From private family homes to rumored haunted locations. This is probably the best piece of paranormal evidence I've ever captured. Two photographs taken one second apart in the prop room at Fear Farm. And the other photographs before and after, there's nothing here whatsoever. The second picture, boom, disappears. A light see-through object in the middle of the frame, which Jay says appears to be a man hunched over in costume. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's, that's paranormal. And the same could be said for this video taken at the same place. And boom, it opens up. That's pretty good evidence. No, yeah, for us. And he says clear audio evidence is further proof of paranormal activity at Fear Farm. We caught a yes response to a question. Were you upset because one of the guys that are with us was playing with the mannequin? Jay admits the evidence isn't the holy grail of ghost sightings. 99.9% .9 of the time, it is a you know very mild haunting. But that other tenth of a percent does happen. In my room, I have crosses everywhere. When the Yates go inside their own home. To hopefully ward away all the, the hell that follows me around everywhere I go. And amidst those items, framed family photographs, dozens of them, a reminder of why Jay and Marie devote so many days, so many hours, searching for the seemingly impossible an answer for their son with autism can't find a cure for it because there is none so in one half of this I can actually help him in another way and that's what I do is hopefully help him peacefully sleep and suddenly you realize he knows that we're out there trying to prove like hey I'm not crazy this isn't just a fun weekend adventure it's a search for answers to truly understand the unknown that's haunting the ones they love
Stephanie Hawkridge, ABC 15 News. I've gone on these shoots before with ghost hunters, and, and sometimes, yeah. you know, people go in as non believers, and then the camera starts not to work, and things start happening, and you're like, oh. Hey, yeah. I have a tough got time. my attention. Yeah, because I'd want to walk up one of, behind one of them and go, boom. <laughs> Scare everybody. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Hey, by the way, to check out our other paranormal evidence captured by the COPS crew, that's their acronym for their group, you can go to our website, abc15.com, and click on 15 links.